Hi, and welcome to this Pro Tools Expert video from Metropolis Studios at the launch of the new The Ones Genelec range. I'm honored to have Aki Makivirta with me in the mastering suite of Metropolis, and he is the research and development director of Genelec. So, Aki, these speakers are absolutely phenomenal, and I remember the first time I saw the 8351s, my head and eyes couldn't marry up. I could not work out how the speakers were getting the sound to my ears in the way that they were. So would you be able to just explain to me in, in simple terms how you've managed it? Yes, it's actually very straightforward and simple. You notice when you, when you look at the, the product, we have a couple of them over here. Uh, you notice that uh, we have the coaxial driver the, the mid-range tweeter unit in the middle of the, of the product, and then you can't see the woofers. Actually, the rest of the front face of the product is the woofer. So we are using two woofers that are above and below the coaxial driver. So we've actually used the whole front face of the loudspeaker to create audio. Um, and it, uh, basically, then uh, some of the key things we're doing here in order to really create very good uh, imaging for this, this product is that we are using the whole front face as a, uh, an, a directivity waveguide. So we can control directivity um, across the whole audio range down to fairly low bass frequencies. And this is really unique. You can't really find this size speakers that would be able to do this or anything near this, this level of uh, directivity control. Um, then we also have uh, maximized uh, the ability of this small product to create low frequencies by using all this remaining surface area here for low frequency reproduction. Now, in order to do this, we had to invent something new because we had to invent a way of hiding the woofers acoustically so that the mid-range and tweeter would not be disturbed by the fact that we have these large woofers here. And uh, we have the woofers radiating through these cavities that you see at the top and bottom of the enclosure here. And that's really the key for creating the directivity control, the flat neutral frequency response, both on axis and off axis. And this is kind of the way of creating precise imaging. And so are you using, the, the, are you um, exploiting the rear porting as well for the bass? Or indeed, is it, is indeed. It... So, so the, the low corner frequency really is created by uh, the combination of the, the double woofer system and the bass reflex in the behind of the product. And that gives us a, a uniquely low, low corner frequency. But because this is a genuine three-way product, uh, it has very low uh, intermodulation distortion, high linearity, that extends down to low frequencies thanks to the, the bass reflex system. So you've actually got, it's actually a four speaker system within this within this tiny footprint. Yes, and that's really unique. I mean, it's very difficult to find anything on the market that would be able to do this. Uh, just just getting a, getting four drivers into into the one box is quite an achievement in in my opinion in itself, isn't it? Yes. And um, so, what what were the the main challenges you, you you found when trying to cram all this technology into such a small space? Well, the first challenge is really to, to recreate uh, the coaxial driver. Because, uh, as you know, now there has been coaxial drivers in the market for quite some time. And uh, they are offered in many, many monitoring products as well. But they mostly suffer from some fundamental issues. Uh, uh, those have to do with the, the tweeter to mid-range uh, transition. So basically, you have to, usually you have to provide a gap a discontinuity acoustically between the tweeter and the mid-range. And you may also have some problems with blending the mid-range to the front baffle of the enclosure. But here you notice that we have a, an acoustically continuous surface without any gaps. And that's uh, possible because we have some flexible sections here that enable the mid-range to move. And uh, at the same time, the tweeter is experiencing a continuous acoustical surface. So what looks like a completely solid front baffle to the speaker there is actually partially moving as well? Yes. 
That's... And it's moving at frequencies where it doesn't matter. This is very important because uh, if you if you have uh, a surface moving uh, close to a higher frequency radiator, you can have what is called the doubler uh, distortion. But here we have selected the the frequency ranges that are being radiated so that uh, you don't have this problem. So you're keeping the base frequencies well away from the, the mid-range and the, and the high frequencies so yes. there's no interference patterns between exactly. the three. Yes. That's genius. That's brilliant. Thank you ever so much. I am deeply honoured to be talking to you today and it's been lovely to see you and I really look forward to hearing these in a little while. Thank you very much. Thank you.